Hello there Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading. So um, I have some messages that I want to relay for you guys. These are going to serve as, you know, your spiritual guidance as well as channel messages that are coming through. And then we're going to go into this spread, okay? So um, I have a lot of information, so I'm trying to find a way to um, neatly compartmentalize everything so that you get, you know, the all, all the messages that are coming through. First of all, there is going to be stability in a relationship if you're old, dealing with somebody who's older. And uh, by older, I feel like a five to like a 10 year gap between the two of you. So you could be, you know, even the female dating a male and you're the older, um, the other person is an older person. So it, it can be, you know, gen it's gender neutral. And I also feel like there's going to be a lot of stability coming into your relationship sector. If you're dealing with somebody who's, um, you know, five year apart or 10 years apart from you. So a solidification of a relationship that's coming in store. Um, whatever blockages that has been happening in your career sector, in your work sector, things are getting themselves like things are writing themselves. So you're overcoming a lot of institutional barriers, um, such as, such as like, uh, investigations, um, even like background checks, even drug testing. Okay. So I feel like those things are, be, are being overcome, left behind for good. And so you can move on and develop your career. I also feel there are new jobs coming through, but it's contingent upon, um, background investigation, drug testing again. So I feel like a lot of you have done some major detox in the past and it might just because you're fearful of uh, drug testing. If that's the case, it's going to happen sometime for this month. So just be mindful of that and make sure, you know, you do whatever is necessary. Okay. Um, I'm also sensing as well when it comes to, um, partnerships in business specifically, partnerships in business. Um, I do sense that there is going to be, um, kind of like, a, a common ground, you and another person meeting at a midpoint, you know, like, uh, coming together, both parties are in agreement are in accordance with one another about expectations and also about, you know, uh, dividing up the responsibilities in that, uh, business partnership. So it is looking very good. I do see we have here a flash from uh, a flashback from the past, a person coming back through from the past. Um, I'm going to talk about that when I go into this spread. If it's a past energy, um, I do feel that you are releasing it. Okay, so it's not coming back for like re-examination. I feel a lot of you are going to start releasing old energies, releasing um, whatever emotional baggage you have accumulated from the past so that you can start a clean slate moving forward with new people, new energies. Um, the other thing I feel here is you have very strong spiritual protection coming through for this month. I feel it's coming through with uh, traveling. So for those of you who are taking long distance uh, trips, for example, there is um, possible like, um, mishaps when it comes to luggage, when it comes to like, um, overseas travel. But I feel like you, you have some, some, um, divine protection mitigating the effects. So like lessening the impact of that. Okay. Keep your clothing, keep your baggage, keep your luggage very close to, to you and making sure that, um, if you can get those locks for your luggage, that's also a, a better option. And um, I do feel you want to keep like your eyes out when it comes to your personal belongings. Okay, so that's for those who are traveling short distance or long distance, but I'm seeing more overseas distance and I feel like a coastal area, you're going to an area with a lot of water. So I feel like getting on a boat, getting on a ferry, things will work themselves out. Just make sure you keep an eye out for uh, luggage. What I feel happening is there's some protection coming through from the for the physical travel. And the energy for protection is directed towards the physical travel. So that means things that are on the cursory, such as luggage, such as, you know, boarding time, such as departure time, those things can't be helped. And so you need to take, you know, extra precautions when it comes to looking at your itinerary. We're also dealing with, you know, uh, Mercury retrograde energy. So while you have protection on uh, physical travel, take care of everything else. Keep your eyes peeled. Be vigilant, okay? 
Um, the last message that I'm getting here is this. Um, they're, they're saying like institutional barriers. So this can be with education. This can be with hospitals. I do see a very big building. Um, it's not like decorated. Um, I feel like institutional barriers as in if you can't uh, if you haven't been able to come together with another person because of family traditions because of differences in the way you're raised either religious um, differences even f political um, differences these things are kind of like dismantling so that you and another person can be together and when you when it deals with work situations if there has been you know health issues like um, medical institutions are giving you like a letter of clearance so that you can move on and you can sail away from that without a problem and then others of you it might be like institutional um, barriers in terms of you know trying to land a job in terms of trying to get your foot in the door with a big governmental or a big company a governmental institution or a big company these institutional barriers are coming down so that you can move ahead with your plans so you have some really really good things budding in your career sector in your relationship sector as well keep energies in the past in the past okay you have some really good things coming in the future for you so please Aquarius let go of these emotional hang-ups from the past don't beat yourself over it don't dwell too much on the past and um, let bygones be bygones and just try to move on all right so let's go into your reading um, the first three well the, the three cards that really stood out for me is we have here career is going really really well Okay, so this is your finance sector. We have here the Divine Protection card. So this is a, a card about being very, very judicious about where you are spending your money, how you are accumulating money. And this is a card about having a lot of command and control over your money. Where you are in a position that you're managing other people or you are making your money grow and work for you. This is a card about somebody who, you know, has... Um, has great command, great power, great authority as well. So some of you are getting a major career boost where you are thrust into a supervisory position or a position where you're managing other people. So you might be dealing physically with uh, assets or money that you're managing for other people. You're managing your own money or you are kind of like, if you're doing accounting, for example, or if you're doing um, procurement, I feel like you're, you're um, facilitating the flow of money to people who are either working um, under you or to colleagues okay so this is a great card about taking control and having great command over your financial situation I do feel as well sometime for this month you are going to be in a position where you are gonna to have to channel you know the the, the energies of um, things that you were taught as a child. So I feel like these are personal values, personal things that you have either um, been taught at a young age and you're gonna have to hold very close to those values. So for example, it's a little bit of a convoluted message, so I apologize. Let me try to give you like a, you know, an example here. So let's just say that, you know, if you, you were raised in an environment where you felt that honesty, honor, and um, hard work, if you feel like those are the three things that you really value, you're going to get validation from that. Okay, so it's telling you to be in a position where you stand really firm for the things that you believe in, that you're, you know where you stand, and that even if people don't agree with you, you know where you stand. So don't compromise yourself for whatever reason, don't compromise. Uh, there is a very strong energy for corruption and corruption will be un unraveled and it will be revealed because it is mercury in retrograde hold on very strongly to your values don't do anything that you're not supposed to and especially you know uh, conduct yourself in an honorable fashion hold tight to your values okay it is a very strong message channeled through the emperor so i feel that you want to be on the up and up and you want to be very very honest and very clear about your objectives okay um the other thing i'm sensing here we do have a flashback um, relationship sector we have here the six of um, cups and this is a past life energy past life energy it, it sometimes it deals with a physical person that's returning from the past 
it could be you know like a past life energies where you recognize each other and they're returning back into the picture for whatever reason because you might have unfinished business but i feel like this past life energy harkens back to a situation where you felt very uh loved very safe and very secure and so what i'm sensing is this you have a relationship partner that's in the picture for you and we have here a water sign so this is a pisces a cancer or a scorpio sun moon or rising and this is somebody who's very nurturing very uh, maternal it could be a male or a female but their energy is very loving very nurturing this is a person that has been through quite a bit of emotional upheaval in their own past they might have been through a divorce. They might have dealt with, you know, drug alcohol issues in their past. They might have had blemishes in their past, but I feel like they have grown from it. They have mature and they take ownership for the their, their past actions, their past indiscretions. And I feel like for some of you, this is somebody that is really nurturing for you. And it feels almost as if you have a soulmate connection with this new person new person it feels as if you have a soulmate connection where you feel very secure very loved okay so i feel like it's hearkening back to a past life energy in a similar situation where you felt this way so there's a lot of love support emotional exchange coming through in your relationship sector with another person and you feel safety and you feel really secure where you're able to express yourself and you're able to have a um, I almost feel like because the person is very supportive of you, you feel almost like invincible. You feel like you can do anything. So I have some really solid, good things coming through in your relationship sector, which is really good. I, I want to see this for you. Um, going back to the past energy, when it comes to like a physical person from the past coming back into the picture, we have here a situation with somebody that might have uh, started out with good intentions, but I feel like it's soured very quickly. So you're, you're dealing with so many uh, water signs. So I have here a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a past energies, okay? This is somebody you might have dated and you might have wanted to reconnect with this person. And uh, these are separate entities, okay? These are separate people. And I just want to say that uh, the energy for this person here is I feel like at their worst, they can be a little bit emotionally manipulative. They don't take ownership for things that they have done in the past. And so we can see a very, very clear dichotomy when it comes to objectives and motives between these two people. And so this is not an energy for you to bring forward. I feel like this person is on their way out and um, they might have the best intentions, but I feel like they lack the ability to follow through. They lack the ability to formulate practical steps in order to deliver on the things they, that they promise. So I feel like, you know, um, promises that were not lift up with this person from the past, you have to let that go because it's being blocked out, okay? Um, going back to your um, travel sector, I feel a lot of you are going to be communicating here heavily and this is somebody that you might be taking a trip with. You might have many, many philosophical discussions with. And this is somebody that's bringing you a lot of, um, I just see a lot of heavy communication with this person. So this is an earth sign, Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And uh, what I'm sensing is this. I feel like they are somebody who's a little bit fixed in their ways. They want certain things done in a very specific manner. So I feel like they're almost perfectionistic and they're almost like um, a little bit too rigid in their thinking. And um, if you're dealing with this person who is foreign to you, so if you're in a sales capacity and you have to deal with this person who might live overseas or you might have like, you know, overseas type of communication with this person or you might be traveling with this person overseas i feel that there is going to be a little bit of a communication mishap my advice when dealing with this situation here is that the communication that is coming from them is due to some type of unresolved conflict that they are feeling they're feeling less than they're feeling a little bit out of their element and so if you argue with them, um, just make sure that you understand where they're coming from. Okay. They're feeling a little bit like of a, 
financial lack. They're also dealing with some type of mishaps in their own personal life where they feel outside of their element. Everything that they're used to is not there. So if, you know, um, a lot of the times when we travel to, we're thrust outside of our elements. Physically, we feel that uh, geographical displacement. We feel like the comforts and the amenities are not in place. And we feel, we deal with a lot of uh, touchy, uh, friction-like energies. So they're a little bit irritable. And so communicating with them, I feel like you're not going to be able to reach a consensus. You're not going to be able to reach a, um, I want to say you're not going to be able to reach like a middle ground. So I feel that it is best for the, for them to, for, for you to leave them, like give them a lot of space and giving them, you know, like do different activities uh, without each other. You do your own thing. They do their own thing and reconvene at a later date because I feel like they're generally a little bit irritable. If you're dealing with this person, if you're dating this person and they're of a different cultural background or even from a different country, there will be values differences where you are need, going to need to stand firm and you're going to need to really, you know, um, hold on very tightly to your values. So don't compromise. So if they're telling you, if they're in the work sector even, and they're telling you, you should do it this way. And I feel like you are going to be in a position where you need to tell them how it is. Okay. So I feel like you're not keeping yourself, um, you're not holding back when it comes to things that you need to say, you're going to give people like a piece of your mind, but I don't feel you're doing it in a, um, aggressive or confrontational manner. You're just going to hold true to your values and you're not going to want to, um, do some anything that is sketchy shady in order to get a specific result so just be careful when dealing with somebody that might be a, a foreigner to you and they're telling you to do something that you feel like wait a minute that is kind of immoral or uh it goes against your better judgment so just be careful about getting reeled in or roped in by somebody who might be a foreigner to you that is an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn don't do anything that you feel doesn't really pass that good judgment test okay career sector we have some really outstanding things and um i'm an aquarius too and i really like to see this so in your career house we have the sun and this is a card about making traction in your career path. This is a card about, you know, uh, no longer facing pessimism and self-doubt as to the career track that you're supposed to be in. You are in alignment with source energy here. And this is coming through in the um, 10th house, which is kind of like the midhaven. And what it indicates here with this card is that for some of you, Whatever you've been doing in the past, if you feel like there were a lot of um, blockages to getting you where you need to go for your career, there were a lot of blockages for getting visibility, getting people to look at your resume, getting people to give you a call back for an interview, getting people to promote you. I feel like all of these blockages are fading away. They're melting away so that you can shine, like you can shine. You can be in a position where a lot of people are looking at you. You can be in a position where you are accumulating a lot of positive accolades and success and a lot of just, you know, positive energy, people helping you to get where you need to be. So I do see it's sort of like, you know, I feel like the past um, few months, um, I would say five months, Many of you have had um, a lot of self-doubt when it comes to the direction of your career. And you're feeling like, is this the right path for me? Am I meant to be doing this? This is the month in which you are getting validation that your hard work is going to start paying off. People are going to pay you a lot of a positive attention. They're giving you a lot of positive feedback. You're in alignment with source energy. So it basically means you're on the right track with your career your resumes, if you have been submitting them, they're going to be looked at. If not looked at, they, I feel like it might have already happened in the, the March time frame for some of you, but the energy is extending into this month as well. So you're going to get very positive reception. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you, well, um, I feel like some of you, and I feel like actually more than some, possibly half of you, 
you have extended a lot of resources, right, when it comes to your uh, higher education. So you might have, you know, gone to get that additional degree. You might have made a lot of sacrifices in your own personal life, uh, financially, emotionally. And um, I'm getting like a very, it's, it, it's almost like you made a lot of sacrifices in order to get in an additional degree, in order to keep yourself in school. Um, and I feel like it was a heavy, heavy uh, financial expense. It was at the expense of your social life. It was at the expense of, um, so it, it was, a, a, it's sort of like delaying your career path in order to get an additional degree. And uh, uh, the past few months you have been kind of um, doubting yourself. Did I make the right investment? Did I just waste my time getting that additional degree? And I feel like, no, you're getting that validation. No, you didn't waste your time because you're being noticed because of that additional degree. If you have been enrolled in a, if you have, you know, not um, applied for work because you were busy going to school, I feel like you're being pushed in the right direction because that additional schooling, that additional diploma, that additional certificate, that additional um, certificate of accomplishment for that specific, um, either a specific skill set or a specific training course is going to reap benefits for you long term for your career. So if you have been doubting yourself, you're definitely, you don't need to doubt yourself anymore. You're on the right track and you're going to get recognition for all the sacrifices that you're making. Okay. So Aquarius, I really want to see this for you because I feel like there has been a lot of, um, shifting energies a lot of self-doubt coming through for the past five months and this is the month in which things are getting solidified for you and it's funnily enough it's also you know mercury in retrograde so naturally we want to be careful about communication but i feel like mercury retrograde usually is a time for you to sift through some of that you know the, the emotional closet to declutter it to clear it out so that you can move on with a lot of ambition drive and a better sense of purpose as to where you're supposed to be professionally okay in terms of the work sector too we have here the eight of cups and this is a situation where we're going back to revisit something so i feel a lot of you are revamping your resume a lot of you are also uh, going back to um, to look at employ employers or to look at whatever you have applied for, I feel like employers are getting in touch with you. Like uh, it, it might be you know two three months after you applied, but they're getting you callbacks. So you're going through you know either interview process or you're revisiting something that you put in an application for. At the same time, if you are not looking for new work or if you haven't started new work. This is a card about uh, returning to previous clients as well. This is about returning back to a previous um, case, a previous um, case that you manage, a previous um, portfolio that you manage, so that you can get compensation, so that you can get paid for it, okay? So all very good cards. Um, I'm not, I, I feel like with this card, what it basically means is whatever has been blocking you in the career sector, in the work sector, these things are clearing up so you can revisit it. You can revisit it. And I feel like you have invested the past eight months into some heavy endeavor and you're going to get some type of a reward coming through. It could be just, you know, congratulations, the, re the victory or the reward might be very internal. But I do sense that it's going to give you, you know, that validation that you're on the right track, that you're doing, um, you're in a career track that you're meant to be in. Okay. Um, when it comes to partnerships, you're no longer working at cross purposes with one another and you're no longer doubting yourself. I do feel there has been a lot of like inner conflict and the inner conflict is playing out in a way where you might not be sure if you're headed in the right direction. You might not be sure. It's almost like you're in a good relationship and you're just like, how is this going to work out long term? I feel like a lot of you coming into this month you're able to be emotionally and physically invested in the present moment. You're not thinking so far ahead into the future that you start to scare yourself. And you're not ruminating about the past where you are mired in, um, you know, self-doubt, whether or not you did the right thing, whether or not you did everything in your capabilities to make something work. So your head space, 
and this is the first that I've ever seen for you guys, Aquarius. Your headspace is very emotionally invested, mentally invested in the here and now. And so you are very grounded. And um, I feel like you're making better decisions because you're not scattered. You're very centered. You're very centered here with this um, crown chakra energy coming through with the sun. You're also very grounded here with this world card where you, you have possibilities coming through, like opportunities as well. But you're grounded enough to um, take control of your life. Okay, so with this energy here, in the fourth house it basically means your practical responsibilities are taken care of you are able to work on your routine and to clear up frivolous activities spending too much time watching tv spending too much time on social media connecting with people and spending too much time i want to say like looking at um I, I see a lot of glossy pictures so that means magazines that can also mean Instagram, that can also mean Facebook, like social media. And um, because you are cutting away at, um, you know, cutting away activities that might be very frivolous, I feel like your household is being whipped into shape. I see a really clean uh, decluttering type of energy where you're getting your household uh, spotless, which is something I don't see a lot for Aquarius. Um, I don't feel like you, you give your space a thorough cleaning as much as you would like and I feel like this is happening for this month and so it's a really good energy um, overall this is a card as well um, when it comes into your fourth house this is uh, also indicative of reunion things coming into full circle and uh, I'm seeing that a lot of you have uh, resolved a lot of karma from the past where you are no longer bogged down by childhood conditioning to behave a certain way, to believe a certain way. You're keeping yourself very open-minded and you're keeping yourself as well very in alignment with your values. So you're not working to con in conflict with the energies from you know childhood conditioning. You're at least um, in agreement with the fact that, you know, hey, mom and dad taught me to be a good person. I grew up to be a very good person. And so I feel like you're understanding a lot of um, cycles in your own life. You're understanding a lot of patterns that are repeating and how to break those patterns for good, okay? Um, the energy is very, very positive. There's very, very positive, um, good, good healing energy, good um, like insights, good understanding of how to break cycles when it comes to childhood conditioning, how, it, how to break cycles when it comes to like irrational fears that you might have about yourself, self-doubt in yourself, or even irrational fears about relationships. So something is culminating, something is coming to an end, and new beginnings is um, looks a lot more prosperous and a lot more fruitful. So you're carrying um, lessons from the past, lessons learned. You're moving into a better phase in your life. It indicates a lot of expansive energy. So a lot of you might physically bring new people into the household, such as a pet or a, um, you know, a, a, new, a new child into the picture. So this is a really, really good card overall, okay? I do see a lot of travel here with family members. So people that you live with, you might be traveling with them. And uh, I see a lot of trips taken. I see a lot of, um, there's just a lot of expansive energy and it looks really good, Aquarius. Um, friendship sector, reconnecting with friends. I do see that. A lot of social functions that also um, blends in as well. Um, professional contact. So I, I got a similar energy for Capricorn, but I feel like for you, your friends are usually very eccentric and they're very non-traditional types of people. And I feel like you like your friends to be a little bit more quirky. And so I feel like you're dealing with friends who are very uh, progressive, who have like, um, who are very forward thinking. So you're dealing with friends who are very open minded. And because they're so open minded, I feel like you feel very at ease with them. So if this is a really good month for you to reconnect with old friends and um, old acquaintances. Okay, Aquarius, you have some amazing energies coming through. So I'm really happy to see that for you. I'm going to go into your love reading right now and I'm going to leave this one out just to see if it's going to be coming back in so the seventh house deals with you know relationship it can be business or uh, rom romance 
it could be somebody you're married to somebody you're in a relationship with and i feel like with this energy on the table this is a um an energy of somebody who's very very nurturing very caring and um what i'm gonna say is this because this is a message coming through for you so you know there are all kinds of aquarius that i'm reading for and this is a message that applies to some of you that have had a very very turbulent past okay turbulent past um you're going to need to release that energy so for example if you've had to deal with some traumatic situations from your past and you know most of us we go through it and we feel like oh it it it, it sucks that it happens but i'm okay now i feel like you're still not okay i feel that you still need to either seek a counselor or a therapist in order to talk about it in order to flush it out and then in order for it to fall away and not affect you in this present time frame okay so i feel like you know a mediator to uh, either mediate a conflict between you and a partner like an impartial third party that's going to be very essential i'm getting the image of a therapist coming through with this uh, card here this woman i'm also feeling as well this is the month in which you are going to be um you, you are going to be able to restore your faith in yourself and your, your faith in relationship mainly because somebody in your picture is going to be showing you how to love the right way how to give yourself how to sacrifice for another person and um yes you might say that oh you know if you're in a career is watching this and you're just like oh i always give so much of myself in a relationship I feel like a lot of the times too, um, you, I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's, it's very extreme. So some of you hold back a lot and then others of you give so much of yourself that you lose yourself in a relationship. So this is the month in which we are meeting a partner that's going to be able to reciprocate 50-50. And so it's teaching you to, you know, not sway so far on either end of the spectrum where you hold yourself back because you're afraid the other person is going to leave you and hurt you or the other end of the spectrum where you give so much of yourself and uh, the other person takes it for granted. So I feel like you're recalibrating your expectations in a relationship and another person is going to show you how to do that in a um in a loving way so there there's a lot of learning that's happening here i feel like it's like a child learning how to walk but not so much walking but like learning how to recalibrate your expectations in relationships so that you're not steering too far into you know either ends of that that extreme spectrum okay so you have some good things coming through aquarius so give me just a moment i'm going to shuffle the cards out for you try to be a little bit more understanding this month Aquarius so you are an air sign and um, air sign deals with communication so the communication sector is going to be affected and so they're telling you with this energy this is sort of like you know being patient being grounded being sympathetic and empathetic and so that you can understand where the other per person is coming from, where your partner specifically is coming from. So don't jump to conclusions. Don't uh, let energies from the past affect your lovability and affect faith and trust in your current partner. So don't jump to worst case scenarios, okay? So there might be communication mishaps if you're not careful. So approach communication from a very loving, neutral standpoint okay very very loving and be very very neutral don't jump to worst case scenarios because i feel like something is getting triggered so if you have been through the ringer in the past and for those of you who have been through a lot of have who have dealt with a lot of trust issues where you gave so much of yourself and the other person you feel like took advantage of it and there was trust issues and fidelities and things like that and you're with a new person you might you might like harken back to that energy where you're like are they talking to other people are they flirting with other people so those things are coming up keep yourself very grounded so that you're not affected by this energy okay of um of feeling as if the other person is getting one over on you does that make sense so just treat new relationships 
as new relationships, new people. Don't bring the past into the present, okay? You're going to get communication from an ex, Aquarius. Sorry about that. You're going to get communication from an ex, and you're not going to respond. You're not going to respond. Okay. So let me talk about the ex. Give me one second. Okay, so let me talk about the X energy here. We have here the King of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So this is like blockage when it comes to communication, okay? So you have an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising in the past. So this is like the past energy. Um, I feel like there has been a lot of inconsistent communication coming through with this person. So I feel like, you know, they might say one thing, mean another, or they might have like um, made very, very strong statements. This is a, a person that is very sure about what they want. They're very intelligent, quite talkative, quite likable, quite popular as well. If they're not an air sign, they embody the energy of somebody who works in a very systematic way. They make connections very quickly. They have a vibrant social circle and a social life. And I feel like they are a little bit too addicted to technology. Okay, so they're like constantly on online. They're constantly like on social media. They're constantly, um, it, it's almost like they they're always on their phone. They're always talking to somebody and they're, they're never just um, alone and calm and center. So I feel like you were dealing with somebody like this. And uh, what I feel happened is that it felt almost like it was a very lonely relationship being with them. And um, I feel like the, the way that they look at you might be the same way, where they feel like if you are in the habit of always, always tuning to your electronics, always on social media as well, and you're not emotionally invested in one-on-one um, -on -one interactions with a love relationship from the past, I feel like they might have the same complaints about you. So depending on you know where you stand with this situation, you're going to get some communication from this person. And um, I feel almost as if they're telling you that I, I don't feel that they're going to either if you're communicating with them they're not going to respond or there will be situations where you know you text them they respond like three days later and you're going to know where you stand with them so if that happens on a regular basis if you see them constantly on their phone but then when you text them they don't respond i feel like the same energy is is going to show you where you stand with them and likewise if they are making communication towards you i feel like they are trying to reach out to you because we have that past blast from the past card earlier they are trying to reach out to you and you're not going to be responding so i feel like somebody is blocking somebody from their phone from social media from emails as well so there is going to be a clear miscommun like um a clear severance in communication here and it's corroborated here by this energy we have the hangman as well as the judgment card the hangman is a situation where we are um, putting ourselves on hold where we are putting ourselves like in a limbo state waiting uncomfortably for another person waiting on some type of communication as well it's linked up with the judgment card which is the contact card it this is a card about you know um communications being sent and then received there is going to be somewhat of a dead silence type of energy okay so i feel like you are in a position where you are going to have to sacrifice that person from the past, not communicate with them so that you can move forward with new energies. So if you are have recently started a new relationship, you're scrapping away all your exes, deleting pictures, or even um, they're saying like pushing them far into the past away from your memories so that you can create new memories with a new person. 
which is really good. And uh, that's the way we're supposed to, you know, go through relationships, mourn the loss of the previous relationship and then move forward. And then others of you, I feel like, I feel almost as if you're waiting, a very small minority of you are waiting on contact, very small. You're done and done and you know, when you're done, you're done for good. So I feel that a very small minority is still waiting in limbo, uh, waiting on communication. And unfortunately, I don't feel that communication coming through, okay? Very small minority. Um, I would say that move on with your life, okay? Get out of this um, uncomfortable situation. You're, you're, all the, the blood is rushing to your head and you're not centered, you're not grounded because you're hanging in, in limbo, in suspension, waiting on communication from a person who is not making the proper time for you or taking the proper time for you. And I feel like that person that we're dealing with there has been a lot of inconsistencies with the things that they say they're going to do and the things that they actually do. It's almost like they give themselves, um, they, it's almost like they, they make allowances for themselves, but they don't make the same allowances for you or for other people. So this is not a good energy to keep in your life, okay? So try to move away from it. A lot of you are coming to the realization that you know where you stand with them and you're moving forward and you're blocking communication. Um, for others of you, the foundation is something that we know to be true that you're already bringing into the picture with you. We have here the Fool card. And the Fool card is basically single lady, single guy. So the bachelor or the bachelorette, you're starting a new phase in your dating life. Okay. So this is kind of like um, some of you are coming in here single. And for those who are single, you have a lot of uh, people that are vying for your attention but I'd also feel you have family pressures as well when are you gonna get married when are you gonna have children and things like that and then for others of you I feel like you're with a person that other people don't agree on and no matter what you're sticking to your guns and you're just like I don't care I'm dating them you're not dating them so it shouldn't matter to you. So I feel like you're standing up for somebody that you really care about, that you really believe in. And I feel like because it's linked up here with the fool, this is a new person. This is not an old person, okay? Like an, a person from the past. So I feel like you're taking that leap of faith to develop a relationship despite the opposition that's coming through. So good for you, Aquarius. I'm going to see what uh, sign this is linked up with, okay? So let me see. Hopefully we can get a sign here. Okay, so we have here the Four of Wands, possibly with a... I'm, I'm seeing fire sign already in coming into the future, so possibly another fire sign. Um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody that, you know, might not have the same values when it comes to upbringing, okay? So this is a card about marriage. This is a card about a stable foundation. So they might be shifting around a lot, traveling a lot, or they might be in a position where they might have been married and um, they might not, they, they might have cold feet about entering another marriage relationship. So I feel that you are with somebody that might have been married and they're, they're single or they're divorced right now. And so you're trying to develop a new relationship with them. Or a lot of you might have been in a situation where you were married and you're cutting off communication. You're trying to start over. And I feel like if you have been seeing a therapist, for example, um, family members are, are getting involved in your business and they're telling you, do it for the kids, do it for, you know, whatever problem it is, you can work it out. And I feel like you're walk away from a long-term marriage or you're walking away from a situation that has soured over time and you're single coming through this month okay so i feel like a lot of things happen in the february time frame around your birthday and relationships are re-examined and left behind okay crowning this reading is something that you're thinking about we have here the page of coins this is an earth sign taurus a virgo or a capricorn this sun moon or rising this is somebody who likes to um, take things apart with their hands they are somebody who's quite in that intelligent. They have a lot of trivia. They know a lot of things. So I feel like somebody, you know, like, let, let's just say they might be like a biologist. 
and they know everything about politics or they might be a politician but they know everything about cooking so it's somebody with a myriad of interests a myriad of you know they collect knowledge left and right wherever they go so you have here an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn sun moon or rising this person is bringing a lot of gifts trinkets and uh, i see flowers candy little shiny objects such as jewelry and rocks as well I see stones and I feel somebody who's very good at working with their hands and they're building something for you and giving it to you as a gift. This is somebody that you are thinking about so you could either have a crush on them, they're making you feel quite good. It's also somebody possibly involved in your work environment. And so I feel like there's a really lighthearted energy associated with this person. They make you feel quite good and you might already be in a relationship with them. I'm getting an energy here of... Um, Somebody who's really, I feel like um, they want a relationship. They want to build things with you. They want to build a new relationship with you. And so they're making you quite happy, okay? Um, as well, coming into the future position, we have here the sun. This is a card about faith and kind of like contentment and success when it comes to the relationship sector. Somebody is coming through, charging for you and making a, a grand gesture or grand declaration towards you and we have here for those who are especially single an aquarius a gemini i'm sorry a um sagittarius and aries or a leo sun moon or rising and i feel like it's somebody who makes you feel quite good who's restoring your faith in humanity who's restoring your faith in yourself okay so once again i'm getting this energy where somebody is teaching you how to love and they're showing you that it's safe for you to open your heart. It's safe for you because you're in good hands. So I have two people here, and um, male or female, earth sign and a fire sign this month for you guys. And I feel like you, you are gonna have a very good dating life for those who are single. You're also going to be in a position here. This is, card is also linked in with the nine of swords. This is sleepless night, staying up very, very late, texting one another. Uh, don't lose sleep over it, okay? They're they're not going anywhere, so don't feel like you have to be pressured into staying late. You're going to do it anyways because, you know, Aquarius, you want that instant gratification. And you're so tied in with your electronics, so I feel like staying up very late, siphoning your energy uh, through communication. So just be a little bit careful. Make sure you are well rested and that you communicate when you are refreshed and when you're centered and, you know, grounded, okay? Okay. You have some really good candidates coming in um, for those in relationships. I feel like you have left a relationship partner behind. You're single. Most of you are, ve are very single or at least you're dating very lightly coming into this month. And then for others of you who are dealing, who has a relationship partner and especially a water sign, I feel like it might be a person with a marriage or a failed um, engagement or a failed marriage under their belt. I feel that... It's sort of like this uh, Romeo and Juliet type of a situation where your friends might not want you to date them. They're like, oh, that's a red flag. Or you, their friends may not want them to date you because of values, cultural differences. Or even I, like, um, I, I'm seeing religious, cultural, family values differences. But you are going to take a leap of faith and you know that you're safe in their presence, okay? Okay. So Aquarius, good month for dating and for singles, really get out there, make yourself visible and um, start dating, okay? I, I feel like it's still Mercury in retrograde, so I feel that you don't want to like put so much stock in it, but you have some solid people coming through. Mercury in retrograde is a, a time where you can have to be extra careful when it comes to planning dates. There will be miscommunications when it comes to time to meet, where to meet, etc. So make sure you work out the logistics, but I feel like you've got some good options, okay? Um, don't wait on the past, move on, move forward, and let things uh, fall as they may in the future with new people, okay? So best of luck to you, Aquarius. Take care of yourself, get a plenty of sleep, and try to detach from your electronics for a bit, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.